Okay, we had to wait a while for it, but uh, Discovery came back and had uh, one of their better episodes. We'll talk about it in a second. Hello out there, I'm the Oldest Nerd from Farpoint Studio. We have for you today uh, the um, episode eight of Discovery, in which uh, we follow what happens after uh, Book and Tarka uh, steal a spore drive, uh, install it on Book's ship, and jump. Now, uh, we don't know exactly where they're going, uh, although uh, Burnham seems to have some thought about that. However, uh, the president is mad at her and at Vance for, Vance for, for backing Tarka and you know, Burnham just for, you know, being in a relationship with Book, uh, that both of them got too close to uh, classified stuff and were now able to make off with it. And it could bring a, a big problem onto uh, the Federation and uh, all everybody else around them. So uh, after having this talking to, uh, Vance basically goes to Burnham and says, okay, you've been given your very basic chore to go and find out more about the star system where these people came from. Uh, but if you can do at the same time to try to find book, uh, uh, we'll just keep that under our hats. And so with uh, that order, uh, uh, Discovery takes off in that direction. Actually, uh, what they do is they get a shuttlecraft because uh, uh, they're going into territory that um, is not Federation, does not have any kind of Starfleet presence, and uh, it interestingly is an area where um, Burnham, while she was waiting the year for Discovery to jump into that century, uh, actually made some friends and some acquaintances along there, including a fellow by the name of Haz Mazzaro. And uh, I like this character. I'm not sure what his, uh, his species is, but um, unlike most aliens uh, uh, that they depict on Trek, uh, this one has a very positive vibe about him. He's not really a crook. He's not really a uh, uh, any kind of nemesis. He is uh, a businessman who uh, uh, skirts around the available law and uh, runs a big casino uh, hidden uh, on a water planet. It's a, a, a very um, interesting set design there. It's uh, 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 we, we bring in um, um, a Wazakan who uh, usually just sits on the bridge and, and you know fires the weapons or something like that. But uh, in this episode she goes with Burnham and um, that uh, and plays a big part in the episode. Um, we also have a um, um, exchange, which I love the line uh, between Book and Tarka, in which he says, pardon me if I mispronounce this, but you're right. Uh, it says something about Tarka's ego uh, and um, being the smartest guy in the room, no matter what room he's in. In this particular case, as they, in, as they go to the same casino, not knowing that uh, Burnham will find them there, uh, he basically tells uh, Tarka to keep his mouth shut and uh, not give himself away. And so um, uh, there is uh, a lot of interesting interaction between um, between Mazzaro and Book and also between Mazzaro and Burnham. And he, of course, knows their past relationship. Uh, he knows uh, a lot of what's going on, especially the fact that they're both that uh, Book is wanted uh, by Starfleet. So uh, with all of this going on, they're trying to obtain an element that's necessary to create the bomb that uh, uh, that um, Tarka was going to build in order to destroy this anomaly. And, uh, and so in order to do this, they have to go through uh, quite a number of things in order to be able to get the proper funding in order to, uh, to buy this. Burnham trying to stop Book and Book trying to outsmart Burnham. And uh, the interplay between Book and Burnham is perfect. Uh, they still have high regard for each other, but just have a difference of opinion. And the um, over uh, uh, the, the, the point of view from Haz Mazzaro is 
almost comical in that he knows both of them. He knows what's going on here. He knows the game that they're playing and seems to get some entertainment out of it himself. Uh, he ends up uh, making out the best uh, of, all, of everybody by the end of this. Uh, he has some interesting little um, uh, figures of speech. Uh, to the Suvlo goes the spud uh, is my favorite. So uh, a, a, a lighter uh, but very serious, uh, w- with very serious undertones, let's call it that. A lighter show with very uh, serious undertones was what this one is about, and uh, I recommend it to you. So, I uh, also recommend uh, your subscription. If you have not subscribed to this channel, uh, please click on the ON logo that's down on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, right there? Right there? I, I don't know which way. Uh, it, you'll see it. It's big and orange. And uh, until next time, don't go far. <laughs>